Thank you, Father Kuharski, Reverend Fathers, uh, sisters, any honored guests, and my dear brothers. Today, I would like to share with you a priest who has been a great influence in my life. Some of you already know this, but before coming to SJV, I spent one year at the University of Nebraska at Omaha, living at the JP2 Newman Center. I moved into the Newman Center in the midst of a, a strange time for the community because our pastor, Father Joseph Taporn, had recently been asked to serve as the new rector of the St. Paul Seminary. So through a sort of interdiocesan trade-off, um, <laughs> our new pastor for the year would be this strange, mysterious priest from the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis named Father Jake Anderson. And so Father Anderson came to UNO and was immediately loved by everyone. I grew up in a family that was, in many ways, simply Catholic by name. And so I didn't know very many young and enthusiastic priests. Father Anderson, however, opened my eyes to a joyful and life-giving priesthood. One of my first encounters with Father Anderson was a, a relatively simple exchange. Some students and I were hanging out in one of the community spaces at the Newman Center and he happened to be walking through the room. So he stopped and he asked us how we were doing and we all replied, oh, we're fine. What are you up to, Father Anderson? Uh, to which he responded by showing us the book he was holding. He said, oh, just a little light reading on minor exorcisms. Uh, <laughs> at the time, I didn't really know what a minor exorcism was, but I was like, wow, this priest's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, Something key that I learned from Father Anderson was that the priest is called to be authentically and most fully human. This was a, a little startling for me because for much of my life, I'd come to, to see the priest as apart from the rest of humanity, as someone who simply prayed a lot and led a life of heroic virtue. And then over here, we have the rest of humanity. Um, I found out this was not the case. The priest is someone who has, has a personality, they have hobbies, passions, and they have their own story as well. Father Anderson lived out his humanity by sharing himself with us. He would attend the, the majority of our community events and really got to know each of the residents of the Newman Center. He was a passionate fisherman and he would share all sorts of crazy stories about being out in a log cabin and some random guy breaking in and stealing stuff in the middle of his fishing expedition and all other crazy stuff. Um, with us, life experience, things we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> On one occasion, he found some of us students sitting around the fireplace um, in the Holy Family Room and discussing what each of us thought made something truly beautiful. Um, he was super jazzed about this conversation and he even asked us like, do you guys want to come back next week and we can keep this conversation going? So the following week, we all came back together. Uh, we brought snacks. It was like an elite select few of beauty seekers, but we didn't coin that. I know that's, that's taken by some others, but we were the OG. <laughs> but we came back together. He was so excited about this and everyone just shared something that they found truly beautiful. So a friend of mine played bass guitar. He did some improvisation and then kind of described the beauty he saw in music. Another friend of mine um, described the beauty he saw in cityscapes and skylines and just the beauty of urban life. Um, other students read poetry, shared music, talked about a piece of art. Um, but Father Anderson organized all of this just to help us see the beauty in the world um, and to share the things that he found beautiful as well. Lastly, but perhaps most importantly, Father Anderson was a true spiritual father. Um, he met his students where each of them were and he walked with them. He called us on to greater virtue while still remaining gentle and loving. He is a man of prayer who taught his spiritual children to pray and his preaching made it abundantly clear 
that everything that he did flowed from his own relationship with the Lord and that he desired for each of us to, to share and to have our own relationship with the living God. Father Anderson taught me what it means to live as a son of the Father and gave me the confidence when I was first beginning to discern a call to the priesthood, a call to the seminary, to cast off my fears and to, to give myself more fully to the Lord. And for this, I will always praise the Lord. Praise be Jesus Christ. Amen.